called The Initiate. Little Lady in High Heels, tell us about the asteroids, meet meteoroids, the birth of peace. Little Lady with the Falling Stair, tell us about seafarers, past predicate, the taming of the mare. I will tell you about my grandfather's clock, my journey among the bees. I will tell you about my sin among silent hollow trees. I will tell you about the birth of LSD, 6,000 Nazi doctors, trial on TV, Nassad and Rene Shar and the Archbishop Diocese. I said, children, follow me, and I will show you the most excellent way. And one boy mimicked me in a high nasal, a high-pitched nasal display. I said, oh, now I have an echo, eh? Next, I will have a shadow, and all of a sudden, all 20 children raised their hands, begging to be my shadow. I laughed nervously. I had recently contracted bronchitis in the coming of winter, unaccustomed to chalk dust. My shadow, 20 unruly shadows, windblown at my seams. And so I picked up a book on birds with weird beaks and said, class, follow me. The next poem is called Portrait of the Classroom. Um, I wrote this with my students one day when we were, um, we, were we had like a two week window in the whole term in which we can actually read and study and, and write poetry legitimately with the principal's uh, approval. So um, this was written with my students, uh, just um, good memory. Within, pe within peeling yellow chair, stains galore, weather our walls. Under the hovering glass of fluorescent light, under gales of church bells that usher skylarks near, coming towards the pursed, eager pronunciations of children, the sky presses its belly low to our window. Those who receive it pause to look away from, say, Joan of Arc, from the forked lightning tongues of Tesla, from the corroded water cycle, from a particular genus of cave bat, the signatures of elderly seasick pilgrims, or the birth of prehistoric Florida, we pause as though to hold our breaths, leaving for a moment for the street that from a distance speaks its iron and asphalt name. Um, the, the next three poems are, I titled it on the way over here. Um, it's just a, a process as it goes. Um, I, I call it Slumber Seeds. And um, I, I wrote these poems at various points of pregnancy. Um, the first one being written before the birth of my son, the last one know, almost a day after his birth, and the third one I wrote today. Uh, number one, Sunday title. Kitchen lids, dust, ties, and window ease. Sun is torched on and on. We take on Polaris, 1974. Accidental and suffering solar races pine for older islands, mineral ones and thick water oceans. The earth reduces its masses to a fleet of sinking whale bats, beaching and disappearing, soaking salt. The lagoons of our eyes, our ears, absent-minded with sleepy love. This is couch day, oceanic, of the sun prone. Solar plexus cradles the unseen baby who in its lone climate becomes itself. After it chants the great cataclysm of its being, it's a unity belonging to our creation. In the movie, dark woman phantoms resurrect when minds are left unattended. And in my blanket fortress, I am swarms and fleets. The child mollusk, the child mollusk unfolds again and again, unlike myself flat on a couch, curling and revolving, First face self, second face self, third face self, splitting and reformation instead. I am chamber pot, farmer, sky, and country, and it is my creature of sea and air boat. Biblical enactments take place at the foot of bed, and the window must be left open, not for enunciation's sake, but because the air in the room is simply not enough. Number two. He is our outlet. Feathered back and downy milk cheeks. Bobbing milk body finds the plush hot air balloon. Finds the great American wild in the form of the child's toy. Finds me my way out of nightmares. Once of porch shootings and open air hospitals. He wails unlike any bird cover or pup. 
plunked with will and wonder. Darling smiled cut across the suns of the room to find us. Sweet child, sweet cries. Motherhood is a spiritual earthquake. Fatherhood is the arm that can tote the weight of all this great light. See us sleepwalkers pantomime to soothe him. Mom is a a hooting siren. Pop is a fleshy spaceship catapulting him to the world of ceiling fans. Kiss the babe's brow between wooden crib bars within between tufts of owl owl brow. Old oil bird, powdered talcum bird, diapered water bathing bird, you've come to heal us with your hunger grunts. All bowed heads crowd him. Does he care for the old sky? Craves Russian women were his first nurses, and for that his mother did cry. When all five senses of the heart are strung up in public by their feet, some would christen him Planet, still others would call him Tube, uh, Bishop, Emperor. He reinvented the clocks, and love remained colorless and salty, a slippery sort of love. Papa kept strength, kept the clocks in check, in and out of hospital doors, upsetting the wings of pale Jewish mothers hung on their ivy poles. Bearing bravely the day both inside and outside of this arresting situation. Roman goddesses of childbirth sat at our bedside with ten lights then and pronounced me worthy of going home. At this joy, he, the babe, lay silent, quoting only God. His eyes could out magic any magician, my little owlet. And the last one I, I wrote today, um, my son's name is Kieran, and my husband and I, uh, like limitlessly make up nicknames for him. It started when my husband called him Kirti. Now uh, I like to call him Kirti Mundo or Kirti Sinclair or just things of that nature. Um, <laughs> King Kirti, Kingmaker Kirti Mundo, here's your medieval beast theory. These animals howl up mountaintop and desert. Here are your rabbit holes, my child, for your fall. A leopard's paw for your flight and branches for your prancing nest. A David Attenborough nature documentary for the laws of the natural world, and indigo for your evening sky. Here is St. Hildegard for your sight. I give you my waking night cranes to help watch for the enemies. Trees at whose knees you may bury your sorrows. It will die millions of deaths, so you can learn resurrection. I give you weak birds that travel the backs of kites. They will bear your, your secrets and a yellow ceiling to light the tuneless matter of the days. And around your compasses, your gravities, I will grow myself an incidental garden.